The one most used is the upper limb tension test 1 with a bias for the median nerve. First I cradle the patient's shoulder, positioning my knuckles on the plinth, creating a firm base and a stable position, allowing me to feel and control elevation of the shoulder, which is a movement the patient is more likely to produce if symptoms occur. I then hold his hand with a pistol grip, my index finger, making sure the thumb is in abduction, with a wrist in external rotation and dorsiflexion. I then gently guide his upper arm into horizontal extension, 90 degrees of abduction, external rotation, and then I gently extend the shoulder until the first sign of symptoms reproduction, which is about here, and then I come back again. Making sure the test is positive envelops structural differentiation, which would mean that at the point of reproduction of symptoms, I turn symptoms off by flexing the shoulder, and then, for instance, seeing if depression of the shoulder reproduces symptoms, or if in extension of the elbow, wrist palmar flexion releases symptoms again. 